Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I am testing out three Taste of Home cookie recipes, all of which were really highly reviewed on their websites. So I don't know, I'm just doing a little recipe testing and wanted to let you guys know our thoughts um, and any notes I have on the recipes and what I would do next time and my favorites. Um, basically what I'm making are these Amish sugar cookies. Uh, these big and soft ginger cookies, so not like the small, the harder, crisp gingerbread cookies, but the soft ones, and then these pecan meltaways, which I keep calling snowballs. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. They look like snowballs. Um, but yeah, I really liked them. Spoiler alert, <laughs> they all turned out pretty good, um, but I do have some notes and stuff that I include throughout, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I know it's a little late for anyone to really use this for their holiday recipes this year because it's almost Christmas Eve, but I figured it'd be fun to share. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you a little later. All right, so first up are the Amish sugar cookies. So for this recipe, you will need butter, vegetable oil, sugar, confectioner sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, all-purpose flour, baking soda, and cream of tartar. The exact measurements will be dealt below, and I will, of course, link each recipe. These sugar cookies are supposed to be melt in your mouth, and apparently they won a local uh, baking competition, and I would agree that they are really good sugar cookies, although I wouldn't say that they stand out all that much compared to other sugar cookies. They're pretty similar, um, but I would definitely make them again. They taste good. Um, so we went ahead and started to beat the butter, oil, and sugar in our mixer. Then we combined our um, dry ingredients and, of course, gradually started to mix those dry ingredients into the wet ingredients, which is pretty standard for all three of these recipes. Um, after that, we decided to forego rolling out the dough and cutting them out with cookie cutters because that never goes well with my kids and we just end up getting frustrated. So instead, we rolled them into little balls and then sort of slightly press them down. Um, and then we, as you'll see, and then we applied some sprinkles before putting them into the oven. The recipe says it should make about 48 sugar cookies and it did make exactly 48 sugar cookies for us, which rarely happens for me. Uh, and then also I wanted to say that uh, I baked these in the oven for seven minutes. The recipe said about eight to 10 and I, I'm one of those people who really like my cookies on the softer side and do not like to burn them. You'll see when I first take these out of the oven, they're a little puffier, but just let them sit and cool for a minute and they will flatten out and they will not be undercooked, um, but they will definitely still be soft. So, you know, for every time I take them out of the oven for a second, I'm like, uh-oh, do I need to keep them in for a second? But just trust yourself, trust your judgment. Um, I would definitely err on the side of seven to eight minutes for this one, uh, unless you like your cookies a little crispier. All right, guys, on to our pecan meltaways. So th for this recipe, you'll need a cup of butter, confectioner sugar, vanilla extract, all-purpose flour, salt, chopped pecans, and some additional confectioner sugar to roll them in at the end. All right, so we're going to start with creaming our butter and confectioner sugar until combined, adding in our vanilla. And then, uh, of course, you combine your dry ingredients, the flour and salt, and gradually add that to the mix. Um, then you want to refrigerate it. And I wanted to show you guys the texture of this because it came out so beautiful and, like, soft and smooth. Uh, this batter was wonderful. It looked like Play-Doh. I just wanted to <laughs> eat it all up. Um, yeah, that texture is really pretty to me. Um, and then after this, you will stir in your 
pecans. Uh, you don't use the mixer for that, just stir them in. I would say that I use too much, pe too many pecans because I always go overboard with nuts because I really like them, but it was hard to uh, form the balls um, because I had too many nuts. So I did also make my balls a little big. They were, should be about an inch, but I made them a little bigger. So I did not make as many cookies as the recipe said it would. I made about half as many, 24. Um, but yeah, you will see that is how they looked after they came out of the oven. They didn't look much different. Um, and then you roll it in confectioner sugar once, allow it to cool all the way, and roll it again, which I thought was really interesting. Um, my husband loves these. Apparently his mom always used to make these, which I didn't even know. Um, they are a drier little cookie thing, um, which I like. I like that they're flaky. That's something I like about it. Um, and I also really like that they're not super sweet. They remind me of shortbread, um, if you like that. That being said, my kids didn't really like that about them. They wanted the sweeter, more moist cookies, but it is really good as well. It's just different. Like I said, both me and my husband really liked these, as you'll see from the bite I'm about to make him take on camera. Um, he doesn't mind me embarrassing him. But um, yeah, if less sweet cookies are your thing, I would definitely try these out. I should also mention that the recipe said to cook it for 10 to 12 minutes, and I definitely felt that they needed the full 12 minutes. And finally, we have the Big Soft Ginger Cookies, which, spoiler alert, these were the best cookies ever. So you're going to start with butter, sugar, egg, molasses, or I didn't have that, so I use maple syrup, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, All-purpose flour, you need ground ginger, baking soda, ground cinnamon, ground cloves, and salt. Um, so yeah, we're starting with, of course, creaming our butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Then we start to mix in our egg and well, not molasses, but maple sugar, maple syrup. Um, this definitely resulted in a um, lighter cup cookie in color, and I'm sure the taste is slightly different, but it definitely still tasted like a gingerbread cookie. So if you don't have molasses, which, I, like I said, I couldn't find it in the store, this would be a good replacement, in my opinion. I think it mostly just affected the color, which I didn't mind at all. Um, so we are mixing together all of our spices. My son loves to help. We get a little bit messy. I'll show you the mess in a second, but that's okay. Um, I only go a little bit crazy. <laughs> um, and then we are going to stir that well, uh, combine it well with our flour. Uh, and then of course, gradually mix that into our, um, butter mixture. I cooked these for 10 minutes, maybe up to 11 minutes. I would not go over that because I, well, these are supposed to be softer cookies. And like I said, I really like them on the softer side. So that's what I would recommend. Um, they didn't turn out as big as the pictures showed in the recipe. Maybe that's because I used mo uh, maple syrup instead of molasses. I don't know. Uh, but I didn't really mind that. They were super, super soft. Like I said, these were absolutely delicious. Um, instead of rolling in sugar at the end, we rolled them in some sprinkles and just baked these little balls of red and green um, sprinkles and it was beautiful and they were absolutely delicious so I would recommend doing them just like we did <laughs> and they're easy too the kids get a little messy but um, they can definitely help with it so there's not a lot of frustration there
All right, so that's it for this video. Like I said throughout, I really loved all three recipes. My favorite was the ginger cookies though, uh, but I would make all three again. Um, yeah, and that's it. I hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season. And I'm sure we are all looking forward to 2021. I hope you are healthy and happy, and I will talk to you in my next video.